Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me, and you'll be safe. Hey guys, how you doing? Today is going to be another video of a Padme team and we're going to have a little bit of fun here with this one. Uh, I want to kind of test the the, the lengths of which, uh, which fifth I could use in a Padme team because you can win a lot of these matches versus a five or six star Maloks with around four of these guys. And I've won like around some, I, I did a video on Mace, I did one on Qui-Gon as the fifth and we still beat some pretty good Malak teams. So I thought Let's test out some other teams and other fists here. So without further ado guys, let's go into the video. So I was climbing yesterday as I usually do versus uh, Balak teams with my uh, my typical Padme team with uh, Yoda and 3PO as the fourth and the fifth. I made a video about this team, I really like it. And I hope that you guys would try this out as, um, as well because I find this team to be the best Padme team to use versus Malax. But as I was saying, I've been, I've been just, you know, casually just doing my arena battles and this team really works really well and i'm like man if i could figure out if i could just use a really crappy fifth versus malix and using this team here um the team would consist of of course padme gk anakin and then we have either um the fourth can really be interchangeable you can have either a 3po or a yoda or any of those uh those stunners like r2 so I was just I was just kind of figuring this out like who do I want to use um, do I really want to push the boundaries and go for somebody like do I dare say cup I mean cup is probably the worst character in this game I mean mob enforcer and cup have they're, they're close they're close for the the worst players in the game in my opinion so I was just like man maybe we should try and figure out if cup really can beat this team using Padme. I did a video a, w a while ago using the old, uh, before Anakin got nerfed, the Night Sister team, and having Zombie as a leadership, and then getting Anakin's all those extra bonus turns. So I thought maybe I'd try Cup doing similar, something similar to that. So I come over to my characters, scroll down to the Galactic Republic tab, and I'm trying to figure out, man, which fifth do I want to use here? We could go for Clones Chewie, we could go for Eeth Koth, we go for Jedi Consular. We go for Amagundi, which I kind of want to. Fives, we can go for Fives, Luminara, or Rex. And then we had 3PO, but already have 3PO. And then I was kind of figuring, man, there's a lot of these different fists I could go for, but I could scroll down even more and boom, cup. We have here a two star cup at gear five with only being level 40. This guy, I mean, if I could really pull this off, that would be amazing. And I, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just try to figure out if Cup with Padme can actually beat these Malak teams. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. So first battle here, I had my uh, my Cup in here with R2 being the fourth. And I did change the, a couple mods here. My Padme is going to be kind of fast, making sure that I get the first turn. And unfortunately enough, we did lose Cup. I mean, you hate to see it, you really do, but Cup is just not going to survive at all in any of these battles here. So my strategy in this team was to pretty much make um, Kenobi go kind of after Padme so I can get all the or all the protection ups and then transfer that into Courage and then getting the extra mass assist, doing some nice damage to Trooper. So right there, we just killed Trooper. And now we have R2 here for a smoke screen on GK trying to blast through Bastila, but it just doesn't work. We just lost GK there. Now we got Taunts up from Malak and we're kind of stuck behind it, which kind of sucks in this team. And then HK got his turn. We got Deathmark now and Padme is one shot. It just is not looking too hot right now. Another set of Insanity goes off. HK with his AOE, it just is not looking good right now, guys. Um, I really think that I could pull this off though. I mean, R2 has 40 sacks of Courage right now. He could do some really nice damage, but it just is not gonna work. So. I do a quick little refresh here, and we're gonna go into the next one here. And basically, it's gonna be the same exact um, strategy here. You either wanna do the basic or the big cleanse right there, and I like the big cleanse even more because you get more stacks of courage. And just again, I mean, you can't really let, or you can't make <laughs> Cup survive as long, or very long in these battles. I mean, you're just gonna get one shot by AoEs left and right. So here I kind of switch it up. I go for the the stun on Trooper, or on HK rather, but man, I lost Anakin straight off the bat. 
and it just kind of sucks from here. So this next one looks promising and let's get into this next one guys. And here we have the last attempt here of the day and we're going up against my shard mate Ronan. He's a cool guy. Let me uh, test out Night Sisters using my Padme. So we got some cool videos of that in a, in a different video, but here we go. Cup dies again, man. Anakin's AOE clears the taunts. And we have 10 sacks of courage, so what we're trying to do here is go for HK. We do happen to kill HK early on, which is very nice here. And then, <laughs> we're just trying to go and, and burn through Trooper as fast as we can. We could do either an AOE or we can do the cleanse. Here I, I resort to using the uh, mass assist. We cleared him out. And we're just kind of hoping that Padme, there we go. We got an extra bonus turn using Padme. And that's kind of huge here because now we can get some not, we can get some more uh, stacks of courage, more stacks of protection up. R2 can stealth up GK. And we're looking pretty good here, guys. Um, we got a nice little kick here. We just got Basil out. And now we're focusing down on Darth Revan and Malak. We unfortunately just lost our GK, but it's okay. We can just one-shot Darth Revan with that. And now... Here's kind of where R2 comes into play. He can get some nice stuns here on M on Malak later on in the battle. Anakin kind of needs to stick his healing immunity. Padme has another kick with a stun. Healing immunities are sticking. It's looking good so far. Another stun there. I think we got this one, guys. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that R2 kind of makes a huge difference here with all the stuns here. It's kind of why I like him a little bit more than, R or than GMY. But here we go, guys. We beat this team using Cup as a fifth. Can you believe it? I just, trying to figure this out and, and wanting to do this video, I thought it'd be a really cool video to show you guys. And I do think that four people in this team can pretty much beat a lot of these different Malaks. Probably not a seven star Malak, but you can get close to it. Five to six star Malaks. Um, at the end of this video though, we will show you the mods on my team, the mods on their team. And I just hope that you guys really enjoy this video. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do um, because Padme is kind of my thing right now. I love Padme, a really fun character to use, a lot of cool synergy with the Galactic Republic tunes. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. So the mods for this team and what we're using here, guys, Padme, we had her at 315 speed and we were able to outspeed their Darth Revan. So 315, I'm not gonna confirm this because I don't want to, I don't like using a fast Padme in general. So on to the next one we have here is going to be GK. Same mods as before, we did get maxed out on um, his gear pieces, so we have fully maxed out gear GK now, which is really cool to see, especially since his ship is coming out soon. Anakin, same as before, we just bumped up his HP a little bit more, some nice speed, crit damage, and crit chance as well. So there you have it for Anakin. On to the next one, we had R2 in here. R2 has Grandmaster Yoda's um, HP loadout and set, and just kind of go for HP as much as you can here, and make him a little bit fast as well. So there we have R2, and unfortunately enough, the star of the show, Cup, can't get mods, unfortunately. He's not even close to getting uh, the purple um, gear levels. I think that's around seven or eight, I'm not too sure, but he can't even put mods on this guy. Let's just see his stats. He's got 2314 HP, 2314 speed or uh, HP. That's just, that is not very good. I, I guess I could have leveled him up, man. Max all of his stuff, get some more gear on this guy, but I just didn't feel like it. I thought this would be kind of cool to show you guys that you can, in fact, beat some Malak teams with just 4v5, pretty much. Um, yeah, there is some RNG into the battles, but all around, you can pretty much beat any really Malak teams out there. Um, so, yeah, let's get on to the next mod showing the Darth Revan we were fighting. So, here we have Ronin. Big shout out to Ronin, actually. This, uh, this guy is really cool. He uh, lets me kind of test out Padme teams that I want to, or uh, teams I want to fight with using Padme. So we got a couple videos. I have Night Sisters. I'm attacking them, but he's a cool guy all around, and he's really nice for letting me, uh, for letting me show this off. Um, so here we go. His speeds on Darth Revan, 304. I'm not gonna say this is bad speed. It is definitely not the best we have in our shard um, by any means. But his other guys' speeds kind of make up for that. So 304 Darth Revan. We got Basila here. Basila has 306, so Basila is going to be faster than Darth Revan, which is kind of annoying in some of these um, mirror matches if you were to use Darth Revan. A faster Basila kind of is annoying. Um, so up next, we're going to go for Malak. Malak's right here. This is only, let's see, what, what was this Malak? 
I think it was only a five star. No, it's actually six star Malak. So six star Malak we were fighting in this video. 40k HP, 75k protection, 234 speed. So this is definitely really good Malak here. Um, let's go on to Trooper next and we'll save HK, HK for last. So Trooper is year 12, 40k HP, 85k protection. So this is pretty tanky to go through, especially since um, Padme is on the field. And even though you have some Courages, some of the Courages are just not enough to go through HK or, uh, to go through Trooper because you're just so tanky most of the time. So up next we have HK, around 30k HP, 40k protection, 200 speed. Pretty good mods here for offense and crit damage and crit chance as well. So this is definitely a pretty solid Malak team that we're fighting. I'm not going to say it's the best team I've ever fought using Malak or using Padme to fight Maliks, but it's definitely a good showcase to see how well Padme can do and uh, what you can test the boundaries with and like what you can actually use for Padme to beat this team with. So to wrap up the video, guys, I just want to say I appreciate you guys watching this all the way through if you did. Um, just I think this is, this is going to be a, a somewhat of a good video. I want it to be kind of... You know, somewhat funny, somewhat serious, because I do think that Padme is going to be a really good team all around the, the Galactic Republic faction as a whole. I think we'll get boosted up significantly when Gear 13 comes around, the new pieces for that, and a lot of 60 mods here. Um, I'm kind of working on my uh, third set of 60 health mods here. We got a lot of mods on Padme. I like more of those for this entire faction because I do think that these health mods help this faction a whole lot. But other than that, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you do like this type of content. I have links in the description of the video. I have Discord and Patreon. Um, Discord, we just chat a lot about either videos, theory crafting, or just this game in general. So we have a good time in Discord. And also Patreon, if you guys do want to go and support me there, link below. Other than that, guys, I think uh, I'll see you later. Nice.